All right, now, even though it may not look or, or not may not feel like it, uh, we, we are in the first week of fall here this week. Now, over the weekend, the equinox happened, but something is, is uh, something else is going on today as well. So let's get over to meteorologist Maria Ruiz to explain. Yeah, so, okay, so the autumn equinox, it happened at an exact time, and that was four days ago. Exactly at 1.50 in the morning, that's when fall began, and this is the exact moment when the sun is directly over the equator. That's why it's called an equinox. It's called, it's Latin for equal nights. But that's not exactly true across the entire globe. So the length of the day and night is nearly equal at the equator, but not for everywhere else on Earth. And for us, it happens to fall today. It's what we call the equal lux, which is Latin for equal light. And that is when we actually get closer to the 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of nighttime. Sunrise today is at 719 and sunset is at 718. So it's the closest is that we get all year and that means we get about 11 hours and 59 minutes. October 11th will be the first day by the way when sunset happens before 7 p.m. and then the, our sunlight starts to dwindle down and we'll get about 10 hours and 52 minutes by the end of October there on Halloween so we lose about oh an hour and eight minutes uh, here in the next month and then by November 30th just after Thanksgiving we're looking at 10 hours and nine minutes and the shortest day of the year, December 21st. That is the winter solstice. This is when daylight drops down to just under 10 minutes. After that, we'll start to gain our daylight back. So again, equinox happened four days ago. Equilux, if you haven't heard about that before, that's happening today. Tashara.